Spring has sprung, which means it's time for me to share with you my fragrances that I am super excited to wear this spring. If you're interested in hearing all about my picks, then just keep watching. Before we get into the fragrances, I do want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe now. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said earlier, we're going to be talking about fragrances that I am excited to wear this spring. So most of these fragrances are not new to me, but they are ones that I typically only wear in the springtime or just ones that I haven't worn in a long time. So these are just the ones that I'm excited about. This is by no means a top fragrances for spring video. <laughs> I can't tell you what's your top fragrance for spring, but these are the ones that I am going to be reaching for, I think, during the spring. So let's get to it. I think I have about 12 fragrances here. I tried to narrow it down to 10. But it was really hard so I think I have about 12 so let's try to get through them pretty quickly. The first one I am just going to quickly mention because I've already done a video all about it but I would be remiss if I left it out of this one and this is by Killian and this is Love Extreme. So this is a beautiful rose and orange blossom and marshmallow scent that is sweet and gourmand but at the same time it's still fresh and it has a lighter airier quality to it. I love the smell of this and I think it will perform very well in the warmer weather. The next fragrance I have is actually another one from Killian and this one is Roses on Ice. Now this one came out at the same time as Angel Share. This one did not get a lot of hype. I actually did a video on this fragrance uh, sometime at the end of 2020 and I, was, and I said in that video that I really wanted to wear this in warmer weather and now that warmer weather is here, I'm excited to wear this. This is like a cucumber gin type scent so it smells like an alcohol <laughs> but in a good way it's very intoxicating to smell and i am hoping that when i wear this in warm weather that this will just like flow off my body and project a little bit better than it did in the cold and when the wind blows i'm hoping that i can catch whiffs of it I'm very excited to wear this to like, I don't know, I'm not gonna be going to any day parties, but <laughs> I'm excited to wear this to like an outdoor brunch. I can just see myself like, just having this fragrance be like a whole mood. This just to me screams like day party, fancy, or not fancy brunch, but like fun brunch, um, mimosas flowing. And yes, I am excited to wear this in that type of occasion, so. I'm trying to be quick about these fragrances because I don't want this video to be like 45 minute long video since I have a lot to share. So if you're interested in knowing more about the fragrances that I mentioned, check out the description box below. If I have reviewed them, I will leave a link to that review um, because some of them I definitely have reviewed before. And if you are interested in a review on any, you can always leave that in my comments and I would definitely take that into, into consideration. So yeah, just wanted to add that in. So the next fragrance, is one by Guerlain and this is from the Aqua Allegoria line and this is Ginger Picante. Now I've had this for a while but now I have seen that it has gone to some discounter sites so if you're interested in it I will see if I can still find this for a low price and I'll link it down below for you all because I saw it like a few weeks ago for like $50 and I think I paid double that amount but I absolutely love this fragrance. It is a sweet, like sparkling ginger candy scent, but it's still very like fresh and effervescent. So this to me smells more like a natural, like if you've ever had like crystallized ginger, that's what this reminds me of. It has a very like sparkling quality to it, a uh, fizzy quality to it. It's very uplifting and refreshing, but at the same time, quite comforting. Now, if you're not a fan of ginger, obviously don't get this <laughs> but i happen to love the smell of ginger so this works out well for me and i think it performs really well in warmer weather so next up i actually have two kind of in the same spot because i feel like they're very interchangeable i haven't owned either of these fragrances in a long time but at some point i am going to decide if i'm going to keep both of them because i do feel like they are very similar but anyway let's get to the fragrances the ones that I'm talking about are Essential Parfums, The Musk, and then I also have Kayali Musk 12. So like I said, these two are very similar. I do love the smell of both. I do think that right offhand, I think The Musk is a little bit stronger, 
but I think they're very, very similar. So I wanted to mention them together. These are very soft, musk, fruity musk scent. Fruity musk scents. <laughs> um, very, I don't know, there's something very like relaxing and comforting and something very clean about them, even though they do have that fruity like undertone to them. And I think they'll work perfectly in the spring. Now, I'm not saying I haven't worn these at all because I definitely have. So some musk can be kind of very enveloping and feel very cozy and still clean. I feel like these are more on the lighter side of musk. Um, I definitely think that these will work out perfectly for spring and summer or pretty much all year round, but I'm really excited to see how these do in the hotter weather and if, if I end up keeping both. I do love the smell of both, but you know, I don't really ha like to have duplicates in my collection, so we'll see. Um, but I'm excited to play around with these more. The next fragrance is one that I got sometime last year and I have to be honest, I really didn't wear it. I kind of thought it might have been a mistake to buy it. However, I wore this the other day and let me tell you, I just needed to wait until the right season to wear this because I absolutely love it. This is Parfums de Marley Meliora. So this to me smells like a fruity, green beautiful elegant fragrance i actually wore this to work um like a couple days ago got a ton of compliments on it previously when i had tried to wear it before i kind of thought that it didn't really like it didn't project but that was during the colder weather when i wore it the other day in like 75 80 degree weather got a ton of compliments husband compliment husband complimented me on it and co-workers and I just thought it smelled really good once I tried it on. So I'm really glad that I didn't get rid of this fragrance because I was kind of on the fence about it. But now that the weather is warmed up, I think it's gonna work out perfectly. I think I've heard this described as like a fruit salad with the stems and the leaves all mixed into it. <laughs> and I can definitely get that. It sounds weird, but there's definitely a bitterness to this that keeps it from being a basic fruity scent, if you know what I mean. So I think this is a very like elevated, fruity floral scent. The next fragrance that I have is from Jo Malone and this is Orange Blossom. Now I feel like I've talked about this a ton, but for good reason, I really love the way this smells. This is definitely a sweet orange blossom scent. So you definitely smell the floral orange blossom smell, but to me, this is a bit sweeter than I've smelled in some other fragrances. So to me, what I think it smells like is fresh, Freshly squeezed orange juice with a little bit of floralness in the background. Very refreshing. And just, I, I just love the way this smells, y'all. I know people don't like Jo Malone, but I'm going to stop apologizing for liking Jo Malone. And this is one that I happen to really love. Mine is in a limited edition bottle, but this is a scent they make all the time. I do happen to really like the way mine looks, but they make this in their normal bottles year round and... I think it's perfect for spring. The next fragrance I have is from Mancera and this is Velvet Vanilla. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my spring video last year. <laughs> so that just goes to show that this is definitely a spring scent for me. Now, it, this is a bit heavy. It's tuberose, but it's like a bubble, bubble gummy tuberose. So it's pretty sweet. You can definitely smell the vanilla in it. And you can definitely smell the floral notes from the tuberose and it's it's really nice and pretty, but I definitely think you don't, this is not one you want to go overboard with. It can become a bit overpowering, especially in hot weather. So I have to be careful with this one, but I think it performs really well in hot weather as far as like, especially when there's a breeze like today. It's warm, but there's a breeze and I feel like that's typical of what we get in the spring. And I just feel like when I'm wearing this fragrance, I can just smell it blowing all around me. <laughs> And I love it. So I get a lot of compliments when I wear this. And like so many Mancera fragrances, this one lasts all day. Projection is out of this world. And if you like tuberose, I definitely think this is one you need to try. So the next fragrance that I have here is one that I've had for a while, but I have to say I honestly hardly ever reach for it. And this is one that I am going to really try to wear this spring or summer because I love the smell of it from the bottle. But for some reason, I never wear it. So the fragrance I'm talking about is Dolce & Gabbana, The Only One Intense. Now this fragrance is a sweet floral. 
that has a zingy zesty quality to it so i believe there's ginger in here that provides that zest and then i believe the florals are like orange blossom neroli i'm not sure if tuberose is in here um to me it does kind of smell like there's some tuberose in it but i'm not 100 percent. y'all know y'all the, the notes will be here like always <laughs> but it smells really good and interesting and not like a boring floral but at the same time very pretty and crowd pleasing so I don't know why I don't wear this more often, but I am planning to wear this this spring. It's gorgeous. I love smelling it from the bottle, but for some reason I don't wear it very much. So hoping to change that this spring summer because it's too pretty to just leave sitting on my shelf. So that is the only one intense. The next fragrance is one that, again, I've had for a while, but don't wear it very often, but I love the smell of it. This is from Tom Ford. It is Champaka Absolute. This is all about the champaka uh, flower. I've never actually smelled a champaka flower, but I know that is the, the floral note that I'm smelling in here. But it's also mixed with like, like a booziness to it. I believe maybe like rum or, I don't know, maybe, maybe rum. It's very, pretty but at the same time that booziness just makes it different i almost feel like this fragrance would be perfect for a wedding like if you're attending a wedding that's what i think that this fragrance would be great for so i kind of feel like i reserve it for my pretty occasions <laughs> which i don't have that many of so that's why i don't wear it very often but i am going to really try to wear this this spring because it is too beautiful to not wear and i think spring is the perfect season for this it's traditionally like wedding season and this just feels like it puts me in the spring mood but at the same time i won't smell like everybody else it doesn't smell like the typical floral scent which is what i love about it also i forgot to mention there's definitely some greenness in this fragrance as well so i know some of you guys don't like greenness in your florals i happen to like it um so just wanted to let you know that because i think <laughs> I think I don't want you guys to order this blindly and be surprised about it, but it is, it is amazing. Very beautiful. I love this one. So that's Champaka Absolute. So the next fragrance is one that I find extremely hard to describe, but I happen to really love it. Now, I will say this is definitely not a safe blind buy. <laughs> Number one, because of the price. Number two, because it's kind of odd. But the fragrance I'm referring to is Amouage Interlude Woman. And this bottle is so beautiful. It's so beautiful, y'all. But I'm a watch Interlude Woman. It's one that I have a hard time describing it. It is sweet. And I almost feel like there's a plum note. I'm not even going to pretend to know the notes in this fragrance because I know from like previously looking at the notes that there are a ton of notes in here. But I'm just going to describe how it smells to me. It smells like... There's some plum in here, along with incense and something that still keeps it very like bright. I don't know, like almost like there's some sort of like a plum juice note in there. I don't know. I don't know, but it smells amazing. And I definitely think that if you like a different smelling scents and you like uplifting scents that are not like your average, you know, easy to wear fragrances but still uplifting and kind of like sparkling and light ish <laughs> i can't i can't even use the word light in the same sentence as homage but this is one you need to smell i'm not here to tell you exactly how this one smells because i can't i cannot tell you how it smells and i think that's why a lot of people don't like this there's kind of a mishmash of a lot of things in here but in my opinion, they come together so, so well. And I think I've worn this in the winter, but I think this will be perfect for spring. So yeah, to sum all that up of me basically saying, I'm not sure how it smells, <laughs> it's good. Get a sample, try it. If you like similar things to what I like, try this, but definitely do not blind buy. It is not a safe blind buy at all. All right, and the very last fragrance I have to share with you guys today is from Chanel. And this is Deauville. I forget what collection this is from, but I think it came out about two years ago. And this is an eau de toilette. So all the fragrances in this line are pretty light, pretty refreshing. 
and just easy going scents and this one is no different now in my opinion Deauville smells like a fancy spa there's some herbal notes to it but there's also a little bit of floral sweetness to it as well to me it smells like a very sp fancy spa <laughs> and I associate it with going on vacation or going to a very nice clean resort this to me has a very rich smell to it without being overpowering this says i am classy and i am wealthy and i am not doing the most you know so i love that about it and surprisingly enough even though this is a lightweight eau de toilette i get a lot of compliments every time i wear this i actually wore this the other day too and probably about three hours in i saw my husband and he was like mm, what are you wearing you smell good and for me to get a compliment from him, that's like <laughs> about fragrances anyway. He compliments me all the time, but not typically on my fragrances. So when I get a compliment from him, that just like bumps us up. So yes, that is Chanel Zoville. Perfect for the spring, summer, and definitely gives me that spa type vibe that sometimes I have a taste for. So that was it for my spring fragrances. Before I go, I do want to let you guys know that I do have a haul coming up. <laughs> so, of course, I'm excited to wear those fragrances for spring as well because this haul that I have coming up for you guys is mainly spring fragrances, but they are also affordable fragrances. So, um, yeah, watch out for that. That'll probably be the next video I post. So if you are not already subscribed, please make sure you do and turn your bell notification on so that you don't miss that video or any video from me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know down below what fragrance are you excited to wear this spring and if you have a fragrance that is on your wish list for this spring. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.